Vasu KK. Are you ready to talk now? What else do you want me to say? The evidence is clear. I killed them. So shoot me right now. Shoot me and let me die. Please. Relax, Mr. KK. Relax. I know how you feel. I want to help you. I don't need your help. I don't need anybody's help. I killed innocent people. Please, let me end my life. Allow me to kill myself right now. All I need is a razor, a knife, a gun. Just let them be here and I'll do it. I will help everybody end this. Calm down, Mr. KK. Calm down. Just tell me exactly what happened. You saw what happened, didn't you? You saw it. I did it. I killed her. And I would have ended my own life if you and your men did not interfere. Why did you people come in? It's okay. Oh, God. It's okay. I'm not supposed to be alive. It's okay. I know you didn't mean it. You didn't mean to do it. I would have done the same thing in your shoes. It's not okay. I killed two innocent people. It's not okay. Allow me to kill myself! Just tell me why you did it. I might be able to save you. I don't need to be saved. I don't want to be saved. As long as those two people remain dead, those two innocent people, I want to be like them. Let me end my life. Please. See, whether you live or die is left for a judge to decide. God. You acted on impulse. It's unfortunate that your act caused collateral damage in the process. What have I done? What did I do? Oh God. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. I swear. I'm sorry. I wish I can turn back the hands of time right now. I'm sorry. Sorry won't bring them back, unfortunately. Four people lost their lives today due to your uncontrolled anger. I just want to get the facts so we can set the record straight. Tell me. Okay, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Oh, God. It all started when I lost my job at the bank where I was working because, because of the recession in the country. My wife and I had to move from our, our posh duplex in Victoria Island to, to a warm bedroom apartment. It is good. my wife. I'm, I'm your husband. And so what? Eh? So what, Evans? Look, don't even start reminding me of this mistake of a marriage. Please. I'm not in the mood for this. But, but why? But what is going on? Huh? We've been practically living like strangers in this house. You don't even let me touch you anymore. Evans, why will you even think of touching me? In this kind of an environment. Huh? Look, I am not in the mood for this nonsense. But please. Baby, we've, we've been through this over and over again. Look, this situation is just temporary, okay? It's just a passing phase. Very soon, we'll bounce back to normal. And then everything will be fine. Isn't that the same thing you have been saying for the past eight months? What else do you want me to do? 
I've been trying my best. Huh? Your best is not good enough, Evans. Your best is not good enough. Try harder. Take me out of this one-room apartment or else. Else what? Or else what? Just, Anita, come back here. Where are you going? Anita. Take me out of this. Anita, babe, come back now. I'm sorry, I, I, I miscalculated my steps. I'm sorry. You did sorry? You did sorry? Look, make I give you my CV. No, my profile. Since I don't they drive for 15 years, I never jam one person. You didn't hear me so? You don't call my record. You didn't mad. I, I, don't be angry, my friend. I, I'm sorry. Who be your okay. friend? You did close eye, they walk out for road. Small thing, I don't turn dead body. Come on, Ike. Will you just leave that fellow and take me out of this place? Sorry, sir. This is your China white way, they wear so. Better night for they bury you so. Give yourself. So I beat you. Oh, that's not fair too. That man will be dead here. He be like, say, which the fool from village Wakari Shell. See, he nearly killed himself now. And do you think what you just did is the right reaction? Obviously, the young man has a lot on his mind. He's even shocked now. Oh, that's not control, he control me, come back here. Now, punch, I don't say for him, eh? If to say my punch reach me, or God, I trust myself, say, next time this man will come for road, you're going to look road where? You're very stupid, Ike. Come on, move this car and get out of here. Move. Oh, God, no vex, sorry. So stop this car. This place looks familiar. I'm coming. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. No. I, I, I'm sorry. No, you don't have to run away. I know you somewhere. Is that not Evans? Ivas Okeke. That, that's my name. Oh, yeah? But I don't know you. You don't know me? Yes. Take a look at me very well. Francis. Francis Uzoma. <laughs> what? <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> Francis, wait. Is that really you? Yeah. Way back in secondary school. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I, I never thought I would see you again. Oh, yeah, it's been ages, anyway. How are you? I'm fine! This Good is amazing! You. Good to see you again! Francis the troublemaker! <laughs> yeah, that was then, that was then. Francis the monster! That, that, was, that was then. So, you, you're going somewhere? Uh, yes, I, w I was actually going home. Oh, okay, you, ha you have your car packed somewhere around here? Uh, no, no, I don't have a car. I, I was trekking home. Oh, yes. Yeah, seriously? You well... Don't, you don't look so good. What has been happening to you? Francis, my friend. It's been a long story. Life has been so unfair to me. Uh, sorry about that. Okay, let's um, join me in my car. We Is this you? To... Oh, yeah, yeah, it's my car. Hey! Let's go. We'll talk the troublemaker! Uh, just enter. Eh? This Dude, is a miracle. Come for him. Francis! He's my old friend. <laughs> this is your car? Yeah, yeah, enter. Hey! <laughs> Francis, the troublemaker! Oh, yeah? Sorry. 
okay. Sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> sent me like this. Oh wow. In that case, let me tell them to get you some more. Absolutely. I don't mind. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. Which one is sir again? You're my friend. Mm -hmm. My name is Francis. Call me Francis. Huh. We've come a long way. You're my friend. Just call me Francis. Stop that sir, sir, sir thing. I have to give due respect to you because God sent you as an angel to save my life today. Thank you. Come on, this is nothing. Don't ever forget that God has a way of doing his things. He cannot share his glory to anyone. I believe. It's true. But I also believe that you're a God sent. You're an angel sent from above. Because today, I was already contemplating on taking my life. I wanted to commit suicide. No. God forbid. I mean, no any, no any type of problem should ever drive a man to thinking of killing himself. Suicide is not a solution, but only compounds the problem further. Francis, you don't understand what I've been through lately. Hmm. You don't understand how miserable my life is. I've submitted my application and CVs to many companies. Many companies, many outfits, many, I've been to many places, but none of them have called me back. No. Today I was even settling for a menial job, any menial job, but still nothing. And my wife, she has made my life a living hell. She's made me miserable. I can't even go home. I don't even know what to do. It's all right. Just take it easy. Everything is going to be fine. Just like you said, you know, it's uh, God's doing that we should meet again today. Um, <clears throat> this is my card. Try and see me tomorrow. Sorry, my left. No problem, I'm eating. Um, let me see what I can do for you. What? What? Huh? Wait a minute! Francis! You are the CEO and the managing director of this company everybody is talking about? <laughs> I have no idea! I had no idea of idea! It's mine to the glory of God. Are you sick? I shouldn't address you as sir. In fact, from now onwards, I'll be addressing you as chief. Your Excellency, His <laughs> Royal Highness, Igwe Francis, my chairman. Please, will you just stop? King of Kings. Don't make me laugh at pain. Superman. <laughs> wow. Just take it easy, huh? Hey. Um. My goodness. Um. Um. Take this so that you'll be able to take care of your immediate needs. And um, I also want you to tell your wife to calm down. From now on, everything is going to be fine. No, 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 no. don't do that. Hold, hold this for me. I don't know what to say. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is your food. It's your food. God will bless you. God will increase your resources. You will live long. Your businesses will expand. You will have happiness, peace, joy in Jesus' name. Thank you to that person that happened to your life. Thank you. It's you. Thank you, sir. Um, um, Thank you, sir. Waiter, hey. can we get, get us some more? 
Thank you, God. Yes, um, Thank you, God. there is something you, you want for this, um, Samu and um, Egusi. Yes. Yeah, Samu and Egusi. All right. you have been reduced to. Look at what I'm having for lunch. And who can believe that me, a whole Anita, will be having biscuits and milk, ordinary milk for lunch. if you do not bring me out of this shameless condition that you have put me into. The devil himself will be the one to judge you. food in the house? What do you mean? I mean, what kind of a stupid question is that? Eh? What type of a question is that, Evans? When you were leaving this house, did you leave any money for food? Ah, baby, come on. Calm down. Slow down. I, I, I just want us to get back to the way things used to be between us. Huh? Look, baby, it wasn't my fault that the bank took away our house. Our car, everything. It wasn't my fault. Okay, so it is my fault that we are in this situation. It's my fault, Evans. <sighs> Evans, Evans. Do you know what? Yes. You're very stupid. <gasps> As a matter of fact, you are raving mad. Anita, calm down. There's no need for us to have an unnecessary fight again. All I'm just trying to do is to, you know, bring us back to where we used to be, you know. Uh, I mean, come on, baby. I just need your love. That's all I need. You need my love? Yes, love. Evans, you need my love. Yes, baby. Look at what we've been reduced to. Evans, how can you possibly be talking about love? See? See where we are. I mean, look at what we've been, been degraded to. I, must, I, I don't think I can, I can condone this suffering. I don't think I can. Yes, you can't. And you've tried. And the days of our suffering, the days of our struggles, are over. <laughs> Do you believe in miracle? Do you believe in miracle, baby? Let me show you something. Look at what I've got. Jesus! Ah! Evans! Huh? Ah! Oh my goodness! Yes, baby. Oh my god. Real goodness. money. Evans! Someone gave it to me. A friend of mine. Yes! Oh uh -huh. my goodness! And, 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 and look at this. That's his card. Huh. He is the owner of Franco Group of Companies. Oh my goodness! My own classmate. <gasps> You're joking. Yes, baby. <laughs> and he told me to come and see him tomorrow morning in his office. Joke again. That's it. Oh my goodness, good Maybe morning. our days of black. Amen. Yes, Amen. 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 Okay. Baby. Uh, baby. Huh? I just wanted to count it. I know, but you know what? It's been counted already. Come here, darling. You know what I'll do? I'll give you some money 
so you can prepare us a lovely meal tonight. Are you serious? Yes. Oh my I want to give you, watch this, money talking bullshit working, baby. <laughs> I know, too mm. much bullshit. 20,000 naira, baby. Get enough meat, enough fish, <laughs> enough of Morocco, and everything you need to make the most delicious soup <gasps> for us, baby. Our days of luck are over, baby. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. Oh. 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 Mm. Mm. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> you know what, baby? Yes. I love you so much. And, 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 Really? As a matter of fact, I've always loved you. For real? For real. <laughs> you know what's going to happen? Yes. I will take this money, mm -hmm. and I will rush off to the market and get everything you want. Okay, baby. And I'll, I'll be right, right here. Mm -hmm. And when I come back, yes. I will give you. Oh, and I will oh, give you two. I will oh, give you two. <laughs> I love darling. you, Mama. I can't oh wait. I'll be here, baby. I'll take my shower and I'll be on my boxes. <laughs> right here, Mama. Do you know I have to cook fast. I know. I have to But I'll be fast. like this, baby. <laughs> when you're done in the kitchen, you meet me like this, Mama. Baby, stop! <laughs> She's not giving you stress. In fact, I have never ever seen her that happy since we got married. <laughs> when I showed her the money you gave me, mm. she lost it. She changed instantly. Everything about her changed. That's women for you. The only language they understand is money. Please I'm grateful. No, Thank okay. you. I owe you all the gratitude. Evans. Thank you. Evans, stand up. Thank Please you. stand up. Thank you. Please sit down. Thank You're you. my friend. Thank you. Just leave yourself. <laughs> Thank you, Francis. You're welcome. Francis, your, your office, this is a fantastic space. God has really blessed you, my friend. Oh, yeah. Yes. God has been so faithful to me. He will bless you too. Amen. I claim it. Oh, yeah, you should claim it. Because the Lord has already placed his blessings in your hands as we speak. What am I saying? Your life is going to change now. Yeah? Your life is changing right now. Amen. No. No, 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 Evans. I'm not praying for you. I'm just telling you what the Lord has already done for you. Okay. Let me put it this way. What position would you like to assume in this office? In this company? I, I can work in any position, Francis. You know I read business administration, but... Right. The certificate don't matter. I can do anything in your company. I can be the cleaner. No, no, I can no. Be your driver, no, Evans. cook, whatever you want. Your <laughs> PA, anything. <laughs> no, Evans. I'm looking at it this way. I'm thinking of um, general manager operations. Huh? Is is that the position you want to give me? Well, that is the best I can think of for now. Maybe later we can upgrade you to, to a higher responsibility. Perfect. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Th there you go. Thank again. you so much. Please, Evans, stop calling me, sir. I'm your friend. You don't know what you have done in my life. You don't know what this means to me. I feel like screaming. No. I feel, am I dreaming? Is this real? <laughs> Wake me up. <laughs> this is a dream, I'm sure. No, no, it's not. It's not. Um, what I'll do now is I'll call my secretary to take you to a new office and also show you the facilities we have here. Then later we can organize a meeting for all the staff to make a formal introduction. Yeah. You mean I can start working today? I can start work today? 
Oh yeah, unless if you have other engagements elsewhere, then maybe we can. Not at all. No, no, no. This is incredible. <laughs> you, you mean without writing a formal application or going through an interview? No. And start working in your company today? Of course, of course. You don't need all those formalities. I know how smart you are way back in school. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations. Welcome on board. Thank you very much, Fellas. Thank you. No, 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 no. Now stand. I believe that there are angels in human form. Stand up. You please. are an angel please stand to me. Up. Please stand up. God sent you to please me. Stand up. Thank you. Thank you. Stop. God bless please you. Please stand up. God bless you, Francis. God bless you. Evans, it's okay. <laughs> oh, God. You are my friend. <laughs> Thank you. Baby. Hmm? No, 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 no. You don't mean this. <laughs> It says here. Yes. Oh my goodness. An annual basic salary. Six million naira. Bang! <laughs> <laughs> and order miscellaneous allowances. That's it. Oh my goodness, baby, we have arrived again! No! <laughs> baby, that's not all. You're missing the juicy details. Right in that appointment letter, it states that I'm entitled to a house and a car. No way, baby! Yes way, no baby! Way. Yes no way! way. <laughs> oh my god! Yes, darling! So you mean we are going to leave this... <laughs> this environment to a better place? Not just a better place, baby. Not just a better place. We're moving into a duplex, baby. A mansion! <laughs> fitted and furnished with everything! Thing that you can never need in the house. You are joking. Everything we need, baby. We have it, baby. He took me to the house already. No way. And he has given me the keys. Oh, baby. Yes. 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 Oh, oh, my baby. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Baby. You know I love you so much. You do? Yes. I love you too, baby. Oh, God, I can't believe it. Yes. God, mm -hmm. may God bless your friend. Amen. So Amen. Darling. Yes, this is happening. I mean, this sounds so good to be true. It is true. It is true, baby. <sighs> God has changed our lives in an instant. You can say that again if you don't baby, know what to do. Baby, we are back. We are back. Serious? I am. You're giving this to me? Oh yes, uh, until we find something better for you. Hey! Oh my goodness! <laughs> you mean this is my car? Yes. I never expected it. Thank you. No, I don't get you. Is it the car or the brand? You know, I can ask them to bring another one for you. This is absolutely beautiful, sir. I love it. I love it. I love it, sir. I love it. Well, this is Thank just you. to keep you uh, mobile for now. You may acquire something of your choice later. Something of my choice? Oh, yeah. This has been my dream car. I love this. Thank you very much, sir. God bless you. Amen. In fact, I, I don't even know what to say. This is, this is more What than I want expected. you to do is just put in your best efforts to make this company grow bigger. Yes, sir. I promise to do more than this for you. Sir. You'll I... be rewarded handsomely. More than this, I sh I'm assuring you. Sir, mm -hmm. you don't even have to say anything. I promise to put in my best. I trust In you. fact, I will kill myself for this no, company. No, 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 no. I will, I will raise no. money for this company. No, no. I, I will make you alive. proud. I want you alive. I will make you proud, sir. You can have the key. Yeah? You will never regret doing this. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. This is for real. Enjoy your ride. Hey! Oh, God. Thank you, God. Come, 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 Thank come, come, come and open, open Thank you. Thank you, my boss. You're welcome. Thank you, my boss. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. I should enter. Yeah, sure. Enter. Please. <laughs> hey. Oh Lord! Wow!
we are. Solo, you're welcome. Thank you, Solo. How are you? Madam, you're welcome. That's my wife. Hey. She's fine. That's a security guy. Solo. Yes, Hi, Solo. 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 Hey. Yeah. Huh? This is our house. <laughs> yes, Whoa, yes, baby. baby. Uh huh. Oh my God, yes, baby. That's a standby generation. Let's just do it the right way, baby. Just hold on. <laughs> okay, now. Uh, ah, ta 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 da. Are you trying to do? Yeah, I'm just trying to make sure that, you know. Uh, okay. Don't worry, we're almost there, baby. This way. I know, I know, I know but this gotta be a surprise, baby. Now. Ta da! <laughs> yes! Way! <laughs> Welcome to our new house, baby. This is what you have always wanted. And God has given it to you. You, baby. God has done it for us. Look at where we live now. Hmm, baby? Yes! Yes, baby, God has done it. Of course! You like it? We'll have a golf screen. I mean, check out the sofa. The best of the leather, baby. Check out the towel. You know, check out the edifice, the chandelier. Look at the dining table. Mm -hmm. Me too, me too, baby. Check it out, huh? This isn't perfect. We're gonna make wonderful memories here. This is just a perfect place for a new beginning. You can mm -hmm. say that again. Yes, honey. God, Check this it out. It's just so beautiful. It's even better than our old place. Oh, yeah. So much better. <laughs> I'm glad you can see that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I love you too. I'm glad you're happy. I'm you know what? Let's look around, okay? okay? So you find out what you want to change, what you want to keep. Okay. All right? Okay. It's your house now. Yeah. Take charge. <laughs> Let's look around, baby. If you don't like it, say it. It's changed, baby. It's changed. Come on. Let me show you the bedroom, baby. This way. Is it? Oh, yeah? Good. Until you see the bedroom, baby. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. I love the voice. <laughs> Don't you ever get tired of working? Hey Rosa. Hey. How you doing? I'm great. Does the boss need me? <laughs> boss? Yes. But you're the boss. Oh, have you forgotten that everyone gets their orders from you? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I, I mean Francis, the chairman. See, that's the thing right there. Even the chairman respects you a lot. And rightly so. I mean, you're a genius. You really? Can, yes. Yes, you are. <laughs> Thank you for the compliment. Hey, you're welcome. So tell me, what makes me a genius? Oh. Why do you say so? You really want me to go there? Shoot. Okay, then. Let's sit Make down yourself with comfortable. Mm -hmm. <sighs> you're a genius because ever since you came into this company, it's been one success story to another. I mean, the net profits of this company has quadrupled in less than three months. I mean, that right there is impressive. Thank God. <laughs> hey. We bless God. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. So, mm -hmm. my general manager, I like your shirt. Hmm? You do? I do. Thank you. Thanks for the compliment. You're welcome.
So, my manager, my general manager. Look at the time. Hmm? It's lunchtime. I was wondering if you would do me the honors of uh, going to lunch with me. What do you say? Yes. I mean, no. Uh, no? Not really. I. I'm sorry, darling. Thanks, but I have to prepare this report for the chairman. But the chairman is, is already at a meeting at the central bank. He's not around. Oh, yeah. He told me. But, but, but I still need to get it ready before he returns. Oh, come now, Evans. Come on. You work too hard. You're going to get exhausted and break down. You should, you should go to lunch. Uh, you know what? Mm -hmm. I, I would have loved to, but I... Some other time, okay? Why have you been avoiding me so desperately? Um, you, why have you been avoiding I, I'm, I'm not avoiding you, okay? What are you, what are you doing? It's, it's, just, it's just that I'm married. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Uh, I'm not wearing my ring today, but, uh, yes, I've got a wife. <laughs> Is that so? I've never seen you wear one. I've never seen you wear a ring. You know the funny thing? Wow. It's just kind of... You know, if you're really married like you claim that you are, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, my brain just can't process that. I mean, you don't look married, okay? No, you don't. Really? How do married men look that is different from how I look? Well, for starters, they look more relaxed and happier than you do right now. So I guess, if you're really married that you, you know, if you're really married that, then you, you, God, I can't process this. If you really are married like you claim, well then, I guess your marriage isn't giving you the joy and fulfillment that you truly deserve. Because I can't see it. Excuse me. Uh, you're ready to leave, right? Yes, sir, and you should too. It's it's already past 7 p.m. Oh my god. I didn't know. Sorry for delaying you. That's okay, sir. No need to apologize. It's my job. Yeah, but nevertheless, you should be home with your family. Yeah. So you can go for now. I'll, I'll take care of other things myself. Sir, are you sure you don't need me to stay around? I, I could stay a while longer. Oh, that would be necessary. I'm only trying to get through this report sent in by Evans. Once I'm done, I'll be gone too. Okay. Good night. Good night, Rosa. Good night. You're still here, Miss Anene? Yes, sir. I thought you've closed for the day. I only close when my boss closes, sir. Really? Well, as I can see, you're all set to go, but he's not. I permitted that to go. Mm. Yes, I, I was going through your report, Evans. Quite brilliant. Really? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Please sit down so we we'll talk about it. All right. Rosa can actually get the coffee before she leaves. No, no, no. I'm fine. I'm fine, Francis. And besides, too much of coffee is not good for the body. Oh, very well then. Yes. You're good to go. Good night. Good night, sirs. Good night, Rosa. Good night. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Now, Evans. Yes. These figures are just fantastic. I cannot believe we are doing so well. You are a big blessing to this company, I must say. I knew I made the right decision to get you here. Come on, Francis. 
we're just working with the business model you outlined for us. No, 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 no. I disagree with you. You have the Midas touch. Everything turned around for good since you joined us. All right. We'll give all the glory to God. Oh, yeah. The glory be to God. Yep. And don't you think this calls for celebration, this tremendous achievement? What are we celebrating? The remarkable achievement. The achievement. <laughs> Come on, Francis. Look. I don't agree with you, okay? Because we've not even achieved our quarterly projections. So let's just leave that celebration nah, for later. No, 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 come on. Don't be a spoiled spot. Let us get somewhere cozy and nice over the weekend to celebrate this remarkable achievement. We can bring in our families and friends. Okay. No problem. If you insist, you're the boss. I hope you'll come along with your beautiful wife so that I will finally get to meet her. I'm sure she was very happy with you now. Yeah, well, it's kind of mixed feeling. You know, women can be unpredictable at times, oh, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure she'll be okay with this dinner idea, but I'll persuade her. I'll try and bring her over. Okay. All right. All right. Let me allow you to read the rest of the report. This is, this is awesome. This is Thank awesome. you. Thank you, Thank sir. You. Thank you very much. Thank you. you awesome. Need anything, huh? Call me. Great job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. What? A dinner? Of course I would like to attend. Really? Yes. Especially when it's an invitation from your chairman himself. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, I would love to meet him. I would love to meet the man who has transformed our lives from this life of <laughs> poverty to this life of opulence. Oh, baby, that's so nice. Mm -hmm. You know, I I'm glad you like the idea because he really wants to meet you. And I would love to meet him. Mm. It would be such a great opportunity to meet Francis. He's my hero. <laughs> um, but baby. Yes. I would need to get a new dress. A new dress? Yeah. Baby. You have a wardrobe filled with the best. Um, what do you need another clothes for? Baby, those dresses are all old. Old? I need a new one. It's a special event. And as such, I need to look my best. Okay, fine. I'll mm -hmm. give you some money to go do some shopping. You will? Of course. Oh my <laughs> God! Isn't that why I'm alive? If I don't, with you, you, you will kill me. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. Why are you so nice to me? Because mm. you're my baby. You know, they, they don't even take a second to think about how hard. I mean, money is not easy to come by. All they care about is spend, 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 double spend, triple spend, <laughs> and look for more please, things to please spend please on. Stop complaining. Spending and spending and spending. Stop complaining, Evans. Hmm. It is like that. That is their nature. We make the money, they spend the money. And it has been like this from time immemorial. That's nonsensical. I mean, some women should, should, should change their attitude, especially in this era of change and, and recession. For instance, my wife Anita suddenly forgot there was a time we had to sell our wedding ring just to get money for food. She has forgotten. Well, at least she stayed and weathered this time with you. My own wife abandoned me with our two children and a love to Ghana with her lover when everything was rough. But I thank God with all the blessings around me now. What? Your wife did that to you? Some women can be heartless. What? So, how did you fare? Where is she now? I don't know. I don't care. She actually came back a few years ago when her lover dumped her. By then, my business um, has started flourishing all over again. Mm. She begged for forgiveness. I said, no, no, no. Serves her right. If my wife, Anita, had left me when the chips were down, 
I wouldn't forgive her. Because she's the reason I found myself in that predicament. Well, that is exactly the reason why I decided to stay away from women's wahala, so that I can be able to live long enough to enjoy my God-given fortune. Hmm. You're right, boss. That's the best thing to do. I mean, sometimes I, I regret getting married. My wife has been a thorn on my flesh. She has made my life a living hell. Your wife seems to be in the class of those women who enjoy the comfort of money. As long as you give them money, you worship them. You always do what you want. Hmm? And good sex too! <laughs> <laughs> you know that! <laughs> hey! Man. But have you ever, you know, considered remarrying? You, 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 don't you need a woman in your life. I don't even want to talk about it. Don't think about it. Now I'm sorry, I never meant to do, I never meant to hurt you, but it happened anyway, and I wish, I wish that I could go back, back to better days, and start all over.
Why did you come here to sleep and you left me all alone in the bedroom all through the night? What kind of a husband are you? Anita, <laughs> from the way you sound, I'm certain you've sobered up. Sit down, let's talk. No, that does not answer my question. Answer my question, Evans. Why did you leave me alone in the bedroom and came here to sleep? Because you're stupid. What? You're very stupid. Do you remember doing stupid things? Hmm? I'm ashamed of you. Anita, you are a big disgrace. Um, Evans. What did I do to you that is making you shout and insult me like this this early morning? What? You don't remember, right? You don't remember what you did last night at the dinner. You don't, right? You were messed up. You got drunk. You were wasted for crying out loud. So, Evans, is that what you're filming like this? What? Did I even know the alcoholic content in that champagne was that high? What? Look, it was a mistake. And I am sorry. I was only trying to have fun. Did you listen to me? Didn't I warn you? Huh? While you were busy going from glass to glass, from bottle to bottle, didn't I warn you to take it easy on the drink? Did you listen? Did you listen? But instead you were guzzling it like a village drunk. Now Francis and my esteemed colleagues feel, or rather they see my wife as a wasted drunk. You know what, Evans? I don't know what else you want me to say or do. It was a mistake and I am sorry. Can someone make a simple mistake again? That was a costly mistake. Embarrassing me in front of my chairman, Francis, and my colleagues was not a simple mistake, Anita. You know what, Evans? Go ahead and do your worst. Oh yes, Evans, do your worst. Huh? A mistake is a mistake. A mistake is not a mistake. Come back here. Anita, are you mad? I'm not done with you. Come back here! Look at this. Who is the man of this house? I'm so sorry, Rosa. You scared me. I'm what sorry. is wrong with you? I didn't know it was you. Oh. I didn't. Oh my God. What's wrong? Oh. Sorry. Sorry. Please forgive me. What, what, what do you want? Oh, I only came to check up on you as you haven't left your office since you got here today. Sorry. Sorry. Oh. Uh, th thank you. Thank you. Um, Are you all right? I'm, I'm fine. I'll be fine. Has the chairman arrived? Well, no, but he did call in to say that he'll be coming in late today. I suspect that he's still hungover from last night's dinner. Wow, eh? Everybody had so much to drink last night. <laughs> yes, except you. <sighs> you were the only one that stayed sober to ensure that everything went well. I had to. <laughs> well done, sir. I was doing my job. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> Very well. And speaking of, how is your wife? She was, uh... Pretty drunk last night, and you, my friend, were very, very upset. Yeah, I'd... no, let, let's not even go there. Forget about that topic, okay? It's not necessary. Um, don't you have work to do? It's Monday morning. Yeah, hmm? sorry. I guess I've overstayed my welcome here. Anyway, I'll be in my office if you need me or anything. Okay, Rosa. God. What is wrong with me? What is going on with me?
sir. Uh, come here. Oh, sir. Thank you. Yeah. somewhere something important came up oh, really yeah. Yeah, yeah when rosa told me you were going to be a bit late today i felt you were still recovering from the hangover of last night's oh, party nah, 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 nah. i got about that since morning mm. as a matter of fact uh, with you around i know you, so many things cannot go wrong oh come on francis you know your presence is always essential for the motivation of the staff don't trust those people when I'm around, they can pretend to be nice and diligent, but behind my back, they would wish I go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> Just like my wife would wish I go to blazes. Your wife? Why did you say that? I mean, Anita seems to be a very nice woman and beautiful. She's a Jezebel. You don't know my wife. She pretends a lot. And she has a first degree in driving a man crazy. Is that why you had to beat her up this morning? What? How did you know about that? She told me. As a matter of fact, she called me. I see. Uh, did she also tell you what led to it? Not really, but I guess it had to do with the incident at the last night's dinner. It's not really my business, Evans, but you're my friend. I have to tell you the truth. No matter the level of provocation, you shouldn't resort to violence against your wife. She got what she deserves. That woman is crazy. She, she, she doesn't listen to me. She, she, she drives me insane. I mean, how can, how, how can I be married to such an incredible I woman? She's, she's insane. It's all right. I know how you feel. I've been there before. Women can push you to the limit, but at any point, you should try and have decorum. They are like babies. <laughs> Anita is not a baby. She's a monster. She's, she's, she's insane. In fact, I, I, I know how to handle this. Just take it easy. Don't need her in your life. Okay, sir. So I've, I've, I've heard what you said. Small, small, nice see see. That. That's your way. Uh, well, just good. take it easy. Yo. Too much of everything is not good. Eh? Remember. If I boy like me, <laughs> okay, now go to go so. Uh, yes, yes, eh? yes. I'm, I'm done with work and um, let's just call it a day. Tomorrow is another day. Not to talk Ogami, but you know if I would now. Exactly. Eh? You know they work at me. Uh -huh. I'll be happy with my damn man. She will hear. She will hear. Thank you. Bye -bye. Have a nice day. Huh? Oh, I love Solo, come here. Good afternoon. This is Sergeant Solo at your service, sir. 
Ah, uh, no. Ah, uh, Solo. Um, did anything unusual happen here today? Yes. So, which unusual are you talking about? I don't understand, though. Do I mean, mean like, visual? okay, uh, uh, did someone come to visit my house or did my wife go out today? I get another solo. Did anyone visit my wife here today? Did anyone come to Ah uh, no 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 only Oga driver or give my Which Oga? Oga now Oga for office. You mean Ike, the chairman's driver? Uh -huh. He can't give madam something. Really? Yeah. What, what, what time was that? What time of the day? Nah, I don't want to feel confused. All right, all right, it's all right. That's fine. Um. That's okay. That's okay. Show sure, sir. Yes. I'll be inside. Anita! 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 Who came here while I was away? I'm talking to you. Anita, who came here while I was away? What did Francis send I to bring to you? I, 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 and why did you have to tell him I beat you up? I'm talking to you. Why did you hit me? Do you want to beat me up again? Why did you tell him I beat you up? Didn't you hit me, Evans? Oh, you want me to wait till you kill me before I tell somebody about it? God, are you out of your mind? Do you realize that's my boss? Do you? Huh? Do you know what your silly stupid story can do to us? I can lose my job and we'll lose everything. Well, you should have thought about it when you were hitting me. Do you even realize the implication of what you've done? Huh? Look, I do not understand what is going on between you and Francis, but put a stop to it now. Let it stop. Put a stop to it right now, before it gets out of hand, Anita. Let me stop! I don't know what you are talking about. As a matter of fact, this is the unfounded suspicion that led you into beating me up in the first place. You should be ashamed of yourself. Shame on you for washing your dirty linens in public. Look, let me warn you and listen very clearly. Whatever transpires between us as husband and wife, stays in here, remains private, remains confidential. The next time, Anita, I swear to God Almighty, the next time you take our affair outside, the next time you involve a third party, I will kill you, I will bury you, and nobody will miss you. All I can say is try and beat me up next time and see what happens. You can always have it your way. Beat me up again and see. Ever baby me again. Anita, what is wrong with you? I'm your husband. Oh, so now you realize that I'm your wife. <laughs> when you were beating me up yesterday, you didn't know that I was your wife, yeah? Now, you want me to satisfy your urge. 
You know what, Evans? Come and have me. Ah. Babe. I, I know you're still angry, but I apologized. I'm sorry. Get out! You know what? You can have the rest of the house. Or you can go to hell. And, and, and come back. Get out. Come back here. You go to hell. You beg me for this. It's on my head. Come and have it. You know you're pushing this too far. Look, I'm running late for work. Get me breakfast. I'm sure you know where the kitchen is, don't you? And you also know how to use the cooker and the microwave. What is that supposed to mean? Well, what it means, Mr. Evan Tukoro, is that I am not your slave. If you're so desperate to get breakfast for yourself, you know where the kitchen is. Go and fix up one for yourself. Anita, how long do you want this fight to continue? As long as possible. Until you realize that I'm not an animal that you can beat up whenever you'd like. All right. It's okay. Let this end right now. Let's call a truce. Okay? At this moment, I'm late for work and I need to eat. What is wrong with you? I'm sure you know where you had your breakfast, lunch, and dinner yesterday. Anita. Go back there. Anita. I demand you to get my breakfast right now. Or oh, what? Or else what, Evans? What will you do? Oh, I guess. You want to beat me up again like you did to me yesterday? <laughs> I have good news for you, mister. If you try that again today, you will spend the rest of your life behind bars. Because I did not do anything yesterday does not mean I will not today. Try it and see. Go ahead. I can see that the devil have possessed you this morning. But I will not let you ruin my day. You can eat yourself up for all I can. Oh. Nonsense. And come and beat me up. Oh, there are no more muscles anymore. You should be ashamed of yourself. Which rim? Open the gate, I'm late. Okay. Uh -huh. Come, 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 come back here. Make sure you don't allow anyone into this compound today. Okay, which kind order did this one? I know you really understand this. What don't you understand? Huh? Did I speak French? Germany? Huh? Swahili? Solo? Okay. I said, listen clearly. As long as today is concerned, do not allow any living soul to come inside this compound or to go outside until I return. Is that clear? Okay. Nobody. Okay, what of madam? Oh, so low, so low. Oh my goodness. You're so dumb. No wonder they fired you from the police force. Huh? I said nobody. Nobody means nobody. What did I say? 
Nobody. Spell it. No L B. Hey, shut up. N O B O D Y. Say it. N O B O D Y. That means no living soul must come into this place or go out. Nobody. Be it uh, uh, someone I know or someone you know, a fly, rat, goat, whatsoever. Don't allow anyone to come in here. Is that clear? Okay. Open the gate. So now open the gate, I'm late. Even madam, I know that your wife, you need the hadam to enter spiritually. from this uh, new project. How did you do it, Evans? It's, it's just simple. The economic dynamics of supply and demand. We have exactly what the customers want. You're right. I'm, I'm really impressed. And I think in no time we'll be able to overtake the multinationals. That's if we've not overtaken them already. Don't forget, according to the market index, our product is number one of its class in the market right now. You're right, <laughs> Evans. I really don't know what this company would have been without you. So am I getting a raise? <laughs> huh? <laughs> but why do you always laugh each time I say it? You're so funny, you remind me of the good old days. <laughs> You're right. Uh, okay. uh, if it's confidential, I could excuse you. Uh, no, 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 no. Um, what we're doing is actually more important than the call. Yeah. Francis, it might be important. Just speak it up. <sighs> All right, if you insist, it's just that I don't like mixing business with pleasure. Yeah, it's not ideal, but this might be an emergency. She's got your heart pumping. <laughs> huh? You can say that again. Yes! It's actually someone I met recently. That's good. Yeah. I've always advised you to get a woman in your life. They are necessary evil. Well, since you are the genius of all things, I'll take your advice. But the implication is I would have to leave everything for you to do is this new project. Alone? Why? Where are you going to? She wants to see me like right now. Ah, I see. Someone is so desperate to get laid somewhere. Uh, you, you mentioned me being here. Does oh, yeah. the mystery lady know me? Look at you. 
who doesn't know that you are the engine room of this company? Oh, yeah. And I always put up an excuse that we are working together, but she insisted that I should just leave you. You are capable of doing all. Oh, really? <laughs> a vote of confidence from the mystery lady herself. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, you can say that again. You can have fun. So I'm leaving you. You take care of the office. I trust you do everything perfect. Hi, hi, Captain. Take care of yourself, huh? Have fun. Oh, yeah? And tell me how it went. Oh, no, not all. Just a little. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh. <sighs> Chairman, up to in such a hurry. Aren't you his secretary? You should have asked him. Well, I did, but he just kept smiling and whistling. Come to think of it, I have never seen him in such a good mood. You know what? I think my boss has fallen in love again. Maybe. <laughs> he certainly deserves it. Yeah. Mm. But I just hope it's not a married woman like he's always preferred. What? Oh, yes. Francis prefers married women? Well, he told me that if he would ever fall in love again, be with another woman, that means he would have to be with a married woman. That's what he said. No, I don't believe that. Francis can do such. He told me that he prefers married women because married women give less stress than all these single ladies. No, Francis doesn't believe that. Well, that's what he told me himself. No, no. So no, please, eh? open the gate for me. Shama! Open the gate. What up? That one a negative order. Sorry. What up? What do you mean by that's a negative order? Order, order, give me standing order. Nobody should go in or go out of this house. Madam. Are you sure you're not high on something? <laughs> Madam, I'm not drink no, anything. Don't even give me that because I saw you drop something right there. Ah, Madam, I clear. I used to talk to you. I don't drink anything. No. Okay, so open the gate and get out of my way. Madam, let's go call a girl. But girl give me order. Say, ma, open the gate. If not, Madam, the gate no go open. No. Which order? Yours, man. Uh, so low. Oh, my God. You know, now I am very sure that you are high on something. Now, will you give me those keys, or I will pull this ah! out for you? Madam. Give me the keys, Madam. Give Madam. me the keys. And my five children, you know, and I want to help you also. Madam! Madam, no press, no press. If you go to one, Madam, thank you. Now you go and tell your that a ten of you cannot hold me bound in this house, okay? Hi! Because of this gate issue, you go, you almost kill all of my... I found the keys. You're on that side, you shouldn't let me out. Sergeant! Uh, what are you saying? Uh, this is Sergeant Solo. So, sir. Uh, reporting from house. The suspect just is at large now. M Madam is at large? Yes, sir. Escaped? Uh, to where? Solo, 
Are you drunk again? Huh? What? She did what? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Escaped? From where? You mean Madame overpowered you and left the house? Wait there right now. I'm coming. Evans, I heard your voice. Is everything all right? Everything is not all right. What's everything going on? Not all... Evans, talk to me. What's going on? Evans! Evans, calm down! Evans! This is where I was, focusing on the angles, doing my duty. Before my dad came out, asked me to open the door. And I said, no, the gate. Say you give order, nobody should go in or go out of this house. But I'm just hold my five children, about to key one. I gave her the key, and she opened the gate. <sighs> Zoom. You're a fool. Okay. Solo? Sir? Did you hear what I called you? What did I say? You are a fool. You are a Big fool for that matter. You allowed a woman overpower you? Huh? No wonder they fired you from the police force. You're nothing but a waste of manpower. Okay, that manpower is what I'm trying to tell you now. That manpower, the way she hold my manpower, I had to defend my manpower. That's why I gave her the key. You're an idiot. A big idiot. I gave you specific order not to allow anybody in and out of this compound until I return. Did I? Did I? Yes, sir. Why am I paying you? If you cannot carry out a simple instruction, why should I keep paying you salary? Solo, answer me! Oh, God. I will impose, enforce police tactics on her. But I just remember say, now your wife, I will damage, if you don't hear that, I damage somewhere. You are an idiot. You Thank you, I feel like strangling you right now. Did, did, did she at least tell you where she was going to? Yes, no. Which no. one? Yes or no? I see her. She the loop. I can't look where. I focus where. Zoom. I see her enter Ogamoto. Go. Which Oga? Oga at the top now. Chairman. You mean Francis, my chairman? Yes, ma'am. So, look, are you sure of what you're saying? Oh, that? Sure, sure, sure. I'm 100% sure. I saw her enter the car. And it drove off. So, look, wait. Are you, are, you, are you sure of what you're saying? You mean Francis came to this house and picked up my wife and they left together? Oh God, I know say Francis come. I know see Francis with my eye come down. But they hundred percent sure. Say na one of the moto. I carry him. That's all right. Um, uh, guide guide the premises. I will, I'll be inside. Sure, sir. Solo is at. Shut up. Solo is at your side.
So, sir. So, now what is it? Is the house on fire? Not yet, sir. Maybe later. Okay, madam is back. Okay. What? Which madam? My wife. Where is she now? I look at one side and look at one side. I won't go and take your permission. If I will allow her to come inside, let her come in. Okay? And the same car, drop her. An entity of a security man called Solomon not to let me in. He said that's what you told him. <laughs> that guy can be very annoying at times. That's not my question. Where are you coming from? But baby, I just answered you. I said I went out. And then I said, did you tell Solomon to lock the gates against me? Did you? Anita, where did you go and who did you go out with? Um, baby, <coughs> he has been drinking. What kind of an interrogation is this? Huh? I said I went out. So I cannot go out and come back freely in my own house. This is my house! It, it. Baby! It's my house! My rules! Where did you go to? Answer me! How, how, can, how can you even say a thing like that? That this is not my house? Eh? This fist is our house, okay? And if you were saying that the house is neither yours nor mine, then it would be best to say that. It doesn't belong to me, it doesn't belong to you. The house belongs to your friend. Ah! Huh? Are you crazy? How dare you? Baby, stop! Huh? Do you know what happened? Transformer. If I break it, 
Mosquito go bite you, bite, bite you not the way you bite me for that my kubiku. Yeah. So, Hello? Okay. Do you want to see how a possessed man is? Huh? Open this door! I'm going to go. I'll be deliverance minister. Ministry. Madam. I never meant to do I never meant to hurt you But it happened anyway And I wish I wish that I could go back Back to better days Good morning Good morning, baby um, Where am I? What is going on? Um, relax, baby, relax. What is going on here? Oh? Nothing is going on. Um, I, <clears throat> I... I brought you breakfast. You know, coffee and some slices of bread, just the way you like it. Anita? Yes? Are you alright? Have you gone crazy? You are adulterous woman. You want, so, 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 you now want to poison me with, with your stupid breakfast, oh right? You want to poison me? You want to kill me? No, right? No, no, That's no, your plan. No, no baby. Uh, I'm so sorry. I, 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 I will never poison you. God forbid. Damn it. You're my husband and I love you so much. Ah! You love who? Huh? You love me? You love me, right? What kind of love is that? What, what kind of woman loves a man and makes his life miserable? That's a crazy woman. That is why I'm saying I'm sorry. If I have done anything to hurt you, baby, please. Look. My knees are so heavy because it will never happen again. Of course. It will never happen again. That is why you're going to leave my house. Get up and leave. No, baby. Out of my house now. No. Out. No, baby. Get out. No, baby. Right now. Please. Leave my house. Baby, I'm like, so sorry. Vance. Baby. baby. Let, let go of me. And I am saying that I'm sorry. I'm saying I'm sorry with all the sincerity of the love that I have for you. Anita, save yourself the drama. Because you know, all this, all this you're doing, the emotional blackmail, it's not working. It's not working. Alright? Because you're going to get up and vamoose from my house. No, 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 That's no, all I want. No, no, if you don't leave here, Anita, if you don't leave, I swear, I swear, I'll kill you with my bare hands. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Get out. Please, you drive me crazy. Me. You need to text me. Get out. 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 Get out. Get out of the house. Out. Madam, 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 it's too strong. This woman in the I wonder what the. They go to do inside and I had to take the key themselves. We ran a cutlass. On a gun. Or dagger. And I tell madam, don't go inside. Don't go inside. We go village. Go pack your family member, elders. Is it more? Or get it. Come, come back or guy. Say no. Is it that? Ah, for this speaking English. It's not a dinner for others, my drink. Yeah, no, see.
because you abused and betrayed the love I have for you. You destroyed everything that we've built together and everything that we ever shared. How could you? And it's how could you? My own wife, sleeping with my best friend. Why? Is it because of money? How much does how much do you want? Look around you. Huh? Don't I give you enough? Do you ever ask me for, for extra money for anything, whatever, and I don't give it to you? Why? Tell me why. Now I want to hear. What made you do it? I'm not sleeping with any of your friends. My boy is telling you such lies about me. Who? Nobody. Nobody is telling me. I investigated. I found out myself. Haven't you been sleeping with Francis? Huh? Haven't you? <laughs> oh, it's funny now. It's funny. You're laughing. Francis. Babe. How can you even think that I'm sleeping with Francis? Look, I never set my eyes on him. Oh, is it because of what I said? The night at the dinner? That's why you think I'm sleeping with him? Baby, I would not do such. Liar. Pathological liar. You are lying from your teeth. Look, baby, I do not have any reason to lie to you. You can bring the Bible or any other thing you want me to swear with. I am not sleeping with Francis. <laughs> I've called him on the phone maybe twice, but God is my witness. I don't have anything to do with Francis. What about yesterday? Huh? Yes, yesterday. Didn't he come to this house to pick you up to God knows where? Huh? Someone saw you entering his car. Baby, you have been listening to that dumb, squall, drunk of a guy called Solo. Oh, so you now remember that he saw you getting into Francis' car, right? That wasn't Francis' car. That car was Sarah's car. Sarah, my friend. Sarah. Who, 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 who is this Sarah I've not heard about? Huh? How come I've not heard about uh, this Sarah? She don't know who Sarah is. And that is because she does not live in Nigeria. She lives in the United States and she just got back. She came here yesterday. Yes, her car looks exactly like the one Francis drives. She only came to pick me up yesterday so I could know where she lives. How can you even think that I can cheat on you? How? I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. There were, there were too many coincidences that made me believe that you, 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 you could look, sleep. Look, baby. Here it goes to show that you do not trust me. If I did not sleep around when we had nothing, is it now that God has blessed us through your friend that I've been messing around with him? It's all right. With too many, you know, things going on between us. I mean, it made me just, I, I didn't know what to think. I've not, I didn't understand what was going on between us. It's, it's okay. Evans, it's look, okay. listen. Where there is no trust, there is, there is no genuine love. Okay? It's because of all this, that's why you will not be able to, to get me pregnant. Come on, baby, don't go there. No, that's why. Look, we've been through this, okay? At the appointed time, you get pregnant in God's time. Hmm? We're doing what we should do. Don't worry about it, okay? Trust me, you, everything will be fine. Okay. Wipe your tears, baby. It's all right. Let's put this behind. Let's put it behind us. I love you, baby. Thank you. Sorry. Yeah, baby. 
Tell me I look good. You look smashing. Maybe that was some quickie. <laughs> what you do to me every morning, I, I just can't. Isn't it the same thing you do to me? Mmm, ma'am, have a beautiful day. Okay. It's beautiful, that's me. Sure, Sally. Yes. Yeah. Sure, ma. I see you, Salo. Good morning. Uh, I gotta go. Yeah, ma. Take care of yourself. Wish baby. me good luck. Good luck, darling. I miss you, baby. I miss Have you a beautiful too. day. Yes. I'll be back before you know it. <laughs> so long. Uh, Oga. Package, oh. Oga. All right. I miss you so much. Baby. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Watch your back. Uh, I wish I'm not going to work. Oga, come on, Tato. Oga, go kill yourself, oh, love, oh. Madame. Madame, good morning. Solo. Madame. Iku. Solomon. Madame, this one way they call me like this. If you like to say, I don't commit. Solomon, you had the guts. I mean, you had the balls to tell my husband about the car that came here to pick me up yesterday, right? And I, let me so, let me say, I tell him, oh, oh, God asked me, and I have to tell him what I saw. You are very stupid. As a matter of fact, Solomon, you are insane. Now listen, by the time I am done dealing with you, you will regret the fact that you came here to work in the first place. Nonsense. Go to my husband and start spreading gossip. I just say, now only your guy is speak English. If I said I swear for this house with English, this is the reason why I don't like intervening inside all this love me, I love you matter. Well, now you then go take steps later. That calabash will put on that. Let me go break up. I was so surprised when I came back and Rosa told me that you had gone. I hope it, was, it wasn't a problem with your beautiful wife. Mm, not at all. Not at all. Um, something urgent came up, so I had to quickly go sort it out. Oh, okay. Because I was a bit worried about your wife, because I know both of you have not been having the best of times lately. Really? Did, did she... How did you know? Did she tell you anything? You know, I've been through that marital crisis before, so I know the look on any man having similar issue. Well, I never thought that the issues I was having with Anita were that obvious. Anyways, thank God it's over now. Well, let me take you back. It was too obvious. As a matter of fact, at a point you were losing concentration. So, have you met up with your wife? Well, we both realized that we were drifting apart and hurting each other badly. So we finally made up. Oh, that's great. I'm happy for you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So, what about you? How did your date go last night? No, wait. <laughs> I know you had a lot of fun because it's written all over you. <laughs> Give me the juicy details. Come on. Oh yeah, I had fun, all right. But uh -huh. I wish I could have that, you know, that wonderful moment for over and over again. Why not? I mean, if you both love each other, what's stopping you? Evans, you don't understand. It's kind of complicated. But anyway, I'll find a way around it somehow. Okay. I reckon you're old enough to handle your love life. But... <laughs> My advice is this, from a friend to a friend, please don't hurt yourself or anyone else in the process. I've heard you. I'll keep that in mind, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Francis. Yeah, my man. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Evans. Hello, Rosa. Hi. I went for shopping. Shopping? I hope you bought me something. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
buy for you. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. I only went to pick up what the chairman asked me to pick from the car since I was taking the car to the mechanics. Really? What is mm -hmm. it? Well, have a look. Have a look. Wow. Expensive ladies' perfume. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Who are they for? Well, I'm guessing it's for his new lady friend. Mm hmm. Yeah. Wow, your guy has fallen head over heels in love. <laughs> and there are two of them. Well, you know, actually there are three. I took one, so I'm going to take one. So whoever the lady friend is, I'm sure she can manage one. Mm. So you like expensive stuff like this? Yes, of course. And you think he will let you take one? And why wouldn't he? If the driver <laughs> took one, I deserve to take one I too. I see. Yes, I can. And you better buy one for your wife too, because you know, we like these things. You know well, this. this Perfumes are expensive, okay? <laughs> okay. Maybe when I have the money. Okay, I'll pray for you. <laughs> Men are perfumes. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Hey. Hey, darling. What are you doing? Getting ready. For bed, huh? Mm -hmm. Hmm. What are you doing, baby? Mm. <laughs> Wiping down your makeup, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. You know what? However it is, with or without makeup, you're my baby. And I love you. And you're the most beautiful girl alive. <laughs> and you're my wife. Mm. <laughs> there you go. Love you, baby. Mm, I know, I know. But you want to get something nice, no? Mm. <laughs> 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 go away! You just so nutty. Wow. <laughs> this is a new perfume. Um. Yes, baby. Um. New perfume. Expensive ladies' perfume. Mm -hmm. how, how, how did you get it? It's expensive. Hmm? Um, actually, baby, I didn't buy it. Yes. I went shopping with Sarah today, so she got me this. Really? <laughs> really. Hmm. Hmm. I'd like to meet this Sarah one of these days. Okay, why don't you? Invite her over tomorrow so we can have dinner together. Um, I think that's a good idea. Uh -huh. Yes, but um, I'm, I'm not really sure she would come. Yes, because it's such a short notice. Oh, come on, baby. Look, persuade her, all right? I would love to meet her, and and this would be a good opportunity to meet her and thank her for all, all the good stuff she's been giving you, all the expensive things, you know? I need to say thank you. She's been taking care of my wife. Mm? Okay. She's such a good friend. Well, you can say that again. Mm? I will invite her nonetheless. Mm. Yeah. All right, darling. Mm -hmm. I know you will. Let me let you be. All right, baby. Okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe we're getting down tonight, you know? <laughs> Just go away. Service. Stop that rubbish. I say, come close. It's confidential. Tell me, what time did my wife leave here yesterday and who came to pick her up? I don't know. I know that I have to beg you for what? What is it? I don't know the God way it is out. I use the God name, beg you. 
When they put me for you and Madame Madame, shut up. What's wrong with you? It's a simple question. Okay. What time did Madame leave home yesterday? And did anybody pick her up? Oh God, I don't know. Even at the sleep, where Madame? Go on, at the sleep. What? You were sleeping on duty. Uh, uh. Oh, baby. Yeah. What is it, baby? Did you catch Solo sleeping on duty again? No, 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 that's not it. I was actually, you know, charging him up to be serious with his duties. Uh, mother, fine, mother. Good one. Uh -uh. Solomon, please just keep your greetings to yourself, all right? I don't need it. Baby, mm -hmm. were you about to leave without kissing me goodbye? No way. I can't do that, Tony. Come on. Look, I knew you were right behind me, and I know you wouldn't miss the goodbye kiss. Mm? My love. You sure? Mm. Love you. Mm. <laughs> mm. Maybe you're going to believe. I know. All right, you take care of yourself, okay? Me too. And I'll see you when you get back. You make my favorite. I will. Don't miss me too much. No, I won't. <laughs> no. All right. Then. No. Bye. Solo. Oh, Go and open the gate. Why are you there? Oh, uh, I'm so lazy. They like this guy. Too. Everybody they like how he's this fool. You're a fool. <laughs> my love. All right, then. Be safe, all right? No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, then. All right. Take care of yourself. Okay. Bye. Be good. Yes, you too. Love you. Love you more. <laughs> so, hurry up. Uh, Hello. 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 You sounded urgent on the phone. I hope everything is fine. Oh, all is well. You are traveling to Abuja tomorrow. Yeah, you are meeting with the top officials of the Ministry of Agriculture over that uh, pesticide contract. Tomorrow? Abuja? Sir, tomorrow is weekend and ministries don't open. Of course, I know. You are not having the meeting in his office. But his house. Yeah, I'm supposed to be the one to go, but because I have a line of uh, programs over this, this weekend, that's why I said you should go. Besides, you are the chief operating officer. Okay, sir, I'll go. I'll go. Yeah, before you go, Rosa, I will give you the details of the meeting as well as uh, flight and accommodation arrangements. Okay, sir. Uh, I will see you on my way out. Great. Yes, and uh, I'll give you the details. All the best, sir. All right, sir. All right, I'm back. <laughs> the 
Vance. Aiki! Oh, guy Vance. What is wrong with you? I'm no vex. Why did you startle me like that? No vex. Ha, no vex. Ogami, I want to ask you, eh? Uh, what time you take the travel tomorrow to Abuja? Why do you want to know? And then and, and who told you I was traveling? For this company, where I can day. Anyway, <clears throat> me just want to know the time where you take the travel so that me go know when to take you go airport. That's why me they ask you. Ah, ah, I see. Well, um, I might be just driving myself to the airport or I'll take a taxi. Hey. Yeah, don't worry, don't worry. Okay. Same journey, eh? Thank you. Uh, Thank you. You don't need to go out soon? Yes. I just want to go home and pack, you know, then head to the airport. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, as usual, eh? Let me greet Madame, eh? Eh, hey, tell her, say, <laughs> with a fling salute, eh? Uh, thank you, sir. Bye bye, sir. Don't forget you, Madame. Sir. You already know that whatever you buy me, as long as it's from your heart, I'll be fine with it. Perfumes? No. How can you even mention perfumes when you already know I have loads and loads of perfumes? But you love perfumes. Yes, but there are other things that are in Abuja that are not in Lagos. Take a peek. Okay. You know what? What? When I'm in Abuja, I will find what suits you. Now that's better. <laughs> Excuse me, baby. Let me ease myself. tomorrow with the 12 p.m. flight. Yes, good. Um, it has to be done tomorrow. No mistakes. All right, then. Um, I, I have to go now. I'll talk to you later. Later. Baby! Yeah. So, who was that on the phone? Um... Sarah. Yes, she called because she wanted to find out if it would be good for her to come for dinner tomorrow, like you requested. Oh. But I told her it's such a bad timing because she'll be traveling. Oh, so yeah. sad. Yeah. You know what? We can make an arrangement for her to come when I return. Mm, yeah, yeah. Um, How about that? That's beautiful. I mean, that's exactly the same thing I told her. Mm. 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 Two minds I think alike. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> yes. You know I was thinking. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be away for some days. Mm. I think we should go get enough tender loving care. So we don't get stabbed of it while mm. I'm away, hmm? You know what, baby? I think you should speak for yourself. Oh yes. Because it is very easy for you men to run after anything in skirt oh, once on. you know that your wife's on our clothes. <laughs> For me, yes. I am so contented with the little love that I get from you. Look at you. Yeah. <laughs> you call it little? Oh, huh? You know what? what? Let's go inside now and I'll give you more than enough mm -hmm. to last you till I return. That is interesting. Mm, you know how I do. Mm -hmm. Come here, darling. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> uh, you know what I do? What? When I do, how I do. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know the stars, baby. Yeah. You know your favorites. Well, I'm gonna baby. give it to you. Mm? Just baby, how? Why are you like Just this? how you Stop. like it? Stop it! Oh, Stop! Mama. Don't say anything! Ah, Stop. mama! Ah, mama! <laughs> I 
will ride you right now, baby. So tell me, baby. Yes. Why don't you want me to go with you to the airport? Or are you making plans to pick another girl up on your way? What? What? God forbid! <laughs> You're the only woman in my life. Really? Forever. I love you so much, baby. And besides, if I take you to the airport, who will drive you back since you don't know how to drive? Hmm? Hmm, baby. Yeah. I love you. I love you too. Mm. So what, does it mean um, you would park your car at the airport car park? Exactly. It's safer there and it's going to make it easy for me to drive straight home once I return. Okay. Mm. okay. That's not an issue now. I can take you and madam. Bring madam back, drop you at the airport. You, when you can't employ me, you know, ask question. I they drive. Those days when I did inside police force, I used to drive a patrol van and catch all those innocent boys, even pursue armed robbers. I will bring my dad back. So, Lord, please, 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 would you just keep your mouth? Shut up. <laughs> so, 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 what you're saying is I should hand you over my key to drive my wife. Baby, you so, you will go and crash into somewhere, B? In the track. Go on, open the gates. <laughs> yes, Ogre. Ogre, I like you. Mm. It's just for the weekend. Okay. Okay, it's like forever to me. I know. I know. Call you every hour on the hour. Hmm? Alright. <laughs> This traffic is to use this shortcut now. At least it's free, but the road is bad. Okay, I'm still on time. That's because I'm beating the traffic. Come <laughs> on. 
you, you can take the car. I have money. I have money here. I have everything you need. Please, don't, don't shoot. I'm not a petty thief. I don't need your goddamn car or your money. Get out of the car. I'm a Terminator. Good. Wait, wait, wait. wait. How much will you pay? I'll, I'll, I'll pay it up. I'll pay it triple. Fopo. Look, I'm rich. Name your price. Please. Terminators are men of honor. We don't sell out on our clients. So goodbye. Wait, 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 wait. Before you should before you do it. Just tell me who, who paid you. Who wants me dead? I, I just want to know. Please. Please. Well, I grant you that wish as a dying man. It doesn't matter anyway. Your wife and your lover who works in the same office with you once you are at the way. So rest in hell, Mr. Evans. What? Thanks, Rosa. How are you? Fine, thank you. Oh, the usual coffee. <laughs> mm. I think it's about time you give me the secret recipe you used to make your coffee taste so good. You're welcome, sir. But there is no secret recipe. It's just the brand of coffee that I use and it's made in Nigeria. You know? Oh, wow. Yeah. And it's actually better than the ones we buy here, the imported ones. Mm, absolutely so. Yes, sir, it is. Speaking of which, you are supposed to be leaving today at 12. It's already 12 o'clock. Are you not going anymore? Yeah, I'll be leaving as soon as Saiki returns back with the car. Oh, I okay. sent him on a very important errand. Okay, very yeah. well. Yeah, yeah. I'm Mr. Evans. Did you miss your flights? Are you surprised to see me? What are you doing? You're supposed to be... Dead! Isn't it? No, I mean, you're supposed to be at the airport. You're supposed to be on your way to Abuja. What happened? The people you sent to assassinate me did not succeed. That's what happened! But you're dead. What are you talking about? I'm your friend. You're my friend. Why would I want you dead? Mr. Evans, is there something wrong with you? Shut up, Rosa! Stay out of this! We need your blood is gone. Now, let's talk like gentlemen. What are you doing? No, my friend, why would I want you dead? What are you talking about? I, I'm confused. What? You planned to assassinate me to inherit my wife. Francis? You've been sleeping with Anita. Oh, why would I do that? You know me very well. Why would I do such a thing? Get a traitor! Go to hell! Ah! Stop with that stupidity. Where's my wife? Yeah. Oh. Oga, all is not well. Oh. Hey. I know Swash nigga. I ramble. 
Don't clash. You day blind? Have you not seen road? Eh? You not say this woman don't drink? As she did as well, she not get herself. We we'll just carry on her put inside her house. Wait, wait, wait. What of my ogre? Okay, I'll go answer you. Your ogre and my chairman. Then this song we are now they drink after they chop dinner. They feel me. So now they say make her import madam come house. 
as you think they do somehow. With Apple no, higher bed. No verse, sir. They ask you question. You don't say I won't stay for police. Which guy drink? Madam go drink to come make her day drunk like this. Uh solo. But like I said, that small QBQ way there. It'd be like say the police station where they interrogate me for here, be. Or now the cab we wear with this uniform and this rope. If they deceive you, wake up. You didn't hear? What kind of sense question beyond this one now? Oh, I am okay. This one go inside. This kind of work. No, be what is the plan? Because they do plenty, plenty work. Madam, oh yeah, once more. I don't leave security work. Come to nothing. Take a miss you. Nothing, madam. Guys, may your salary not reduce you. Yeah, madam. Can you be like, say she don't wake up? Wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> madam. Madam. You know, Josina, can you see me? <laughs> Did you get out of my sight? Hmm? Of course, I can see you. What type of a stupid question is that? Eh? What? 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 What are you talking about? Madam, madam. Don't try it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you, you think I can't say? Look, I am gallant. Very gallant. I trust you, I trust you. And you, Solomon. I heard what you said when you thought I was sleeping. Look, it is your mother. Your very own mother that is drunk. Get out. Get out of my sight before I break! I don't, I don't if you have it. <laughs> Na IK, na me carry you come now from where na D. I got my report you come house. Mm -hmm. I can. I can. I'm all right. Gallant. Very much gallant. For sure. I trust you, brother. And you, you're still standing here. Hmm? Come. Come, come, come and take me to my room. It's this way. Eh, madam? Mm-hmm. Not be that way, madam. Not this way. Eh. Not, not very eh. I'm not saying you don't like Madam, eh. not go for go. Hey. <coughs> Woo! Wait. I, 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 this was very good. You eh? know, it was like a seesaw. Madam, not be salsa with the dance on here. Then back again. Madam, wait. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I was just teasing you. It's not like I can't see. I, I know my room. You see room where? <laughs> you see future self. <laughs> where they go? <laughs> ah, these places are looking high. I know. <laughs> Solomon. I will deal with you. After now, you will hear from me. Solomon. Solomon. I'm telling you. Okay, driver. I'm aiming you. If I hear any house sound from that room, my bag. You see, eh? After that night, as a hammer and finish. <laughs> Next, you tell me, say, confess to me. Tell me, say, nobody do ever hammer around like that. <laughs> me, me, now come to look at me. I can't even look at her. She say, "Now so, okay, my talk on. Now so, you come and say every time when when you go office, as you do office, my phone go ring. She go call me make I come. Me I go I go rush come now. Please say now, madam, they call me I go rush come. I go hammer. I go go. What? If not be as I be, I get strong mind. They get concerns. This woman for the love we put inside house. No. Wait. It's not true, baby. Don't listen to him, baby. Baby, he, he, he took advantage of me that night. 
because, because he knew I was drunk. Huh? He, he took advantage of you, Anita. He, he, he's a devil, baby. Maybe he raped me. He, he raped his Anita. Shut up. <laughs> and after then, he kept enjoying it. No, I... He kept enjoying it. Until you plan to get rid of me by assassination. Oh, Gabby. Oh, Gabby. Ah. Shave you see, eh? Shave you see, eh? Mm. This woman. Ah. She didn't lie, you. She didn't lie. Thank God, so you said the talk and now say after that you kept enjoying it. Okay, not you tell me say they gallant that night. You drunk. Now since that time, bro, this woman wait. Wait, wait, sit down here, so she tell me say you make we kill you. No. Say they spoil a paro. No. You the point she can do. Then say make she make she kill you so that she go day free. Hey, God. Now they call me back every day. You don't know what he have. You don't know what there is no need to believe him, you know. I would never do anything to her. I would never do anything to her. Shut up! Shut up, boy! Huh? I don't care! I don't give a damn! I don't give a fire hood who started it! Do you have any idea what you have made me do? Do you have any idea the error you have made me commit? You two are dead meat. Now, Get down from my bed after defiling it. I will not let you spill your blood on it. Get down! Baby, please. I will forever and ever bring you two together. I'm sending you to hell now. There you can get married. You can make love the way you want, have sex, have children. Both of you are dead meat. Get down! Get down! Say your last prayers. Baby, Say your last please. prayers right now. Baby, please. I'm sending you to hell. No, baby, you cannot. Where you both will spend the rest of your life together. Baby, eh? please. Say your last prayers. Drop your weapon, turn around slowly, and put your hands behind your head. Drop your weapon, turn around slowly, and put your hands behind your head! to remain silent. Whatever you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You are entitled to an attorney and if you cannot afford one, one will be provided for you. Move. Ma, move. Move, my friend. beautiful secretary Rosa who were the real victims of this whole mess based on your unfounded suspicion. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I wish I could turn back the hands of time. I wish none of this ever happened. I wish so too. But it's too late to amend. Unfortunately, 
the law has to take its course. And we'll be charging you with multiple homicide. Let's hope the judge is lenient when he hears your story. I don't mind dying. My life is worthless now. How can I live with the guilt that I murdered two innocent people? If only I had gone to my house first, Francis and Rosa would still be alive. Yes. That would have been better <laughs> for you. Because a while ago, my men arrested Skipper, the hired killer contracted by your wife and her lover to get rid of you. He's made some very useful confessions. It's over. It's all over. 